Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. Slippery. <laughs> What's up, guys? Well, I got some mud all over me. A little muddy out. In the 40s today, and it's muddy. They let it freeze up, so there's a very good chance. I can't see the trap there. It could be out there. There's a very good chance we got some beaver here. Nothing in the snare. Slider's still right there. So that trap is still there, so we might have murdered a few over this way. Got something here in the RBG. What do we got? What do we got in the RBG? I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for me to use them. What do we got? I think it's a musk. God dang stuff. <laughs> oh, look at there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought that was a muskrat. I had no excitement. Oh, man. There he is. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Oh, that is awesome. We're going to reset that because we think there's more than that in here. But this is a round body grip trap from RBG, Nick Ermey. Look at that guy. <laughs> we got him, guys. Freaking stoked. I thought it was a muskrat, so I was like, yep. Let's show these guys this muskrat. <laughs> I got to get a picture for old Facebook. That is... Uh, when something actually worked, usually when I'm going after mink, ain't nothing gonna work. Those of you who are new here, we got mink tracks all around this place. I put in some colony traps. I put a colony trap here and caught this. I caught a muskrat instantly. So then I put this round body grip RBG in there and we got this beautiful mink. It never been more excited, never been more excited to get a mink. It's a beauty. We're gonna reset this. All this is is a round body grip trap. So that's what our RGB means. All right, well, that is uh, pretty exciting. I had a muskrat run here. We're just gonna put this right back. I wasn't ready to put my hands in the water yet. We want it on the bottom, just a hair off the bottom so it doesn't interfere, but they're gonna run that bottom right next to that log. You've seen it happen. We got our mink, oh, so pumped. And he's limp, like I just got him. He's gonna come, he's gonna jump back out and bite my face. Don't you? Look at it, he looks like he, I look like he just caught the guy. That's amazing. Oh. Pumped. There's a quite a bit of new mink tracks. I don't know if it's the same one I just murdered or not, but sure would be cool to get one over there on that one spot. We know they're here. I just well, we got something here. We got a beaver here. This is a good spot. Look like they pushed him to the side here. So that's good. I can see where they broke, unless that's where I broke the ice the other day. It could be, I guess. I see a head popped up there for air. It's crazy they do that. 
they don't know it, but they're about to be frozen in because it's going to get cold next week. This was a kind of a perfect looking run here. Decent beaver right there. Puts us at 18 for this body of waters. I knew there was going to be something over this way because. This trap just looked too good. That's why we're gonna bring that big trap in and we're gonna get where they're traveling from hole to hole. Sweet. Mud off of my trap. Let's see. Light my hole again. Pretty much all up in there. I guess we'll just set it in like we had it because I I don't I just gotta make sure it stays underwater ways for the freezing part that's coming. That's pretty good. As you see we had it sticked so good that it never even budged. Here we go. We're gonna leave this guy here and come back and get him. Yeah, I mink is cruising around this place. So muddy. You guys wouldn't even believe how much mud is here. So we're gonna put this one back here on the run. Look how open that is over there. There's still definitely some beaver over there. Well, can't really see anything there. We'll go over here first. That mink climbed out right there. Okay. Well, this is where the beaver were climbing out and chewing last time I was here, but there's no, there's no bank den here. This is just a, this is just a one bank den hut. Here he is, right here. What do we got? Another nice beaver. Sweet. Another nice beaver. So we're gonna go over there and set that hut next. We'll have this place com completely covered. There's one good spot. I wanna put another one of those RB round body grips in there, that guy. 660 and then we will I got some tall H stands now from Funky I'm gonna use those on that other pond downstream set those deep runs that we never set before <coughs> so that ought to change things up a little bit 
so we're at 19. I was hoping to pick up number 20 today, so hopefully we can make it happen. So here's our swivel stick. I don't see our other stick here. It'll be used to what to find another one. It's uh, beaver trapping is just very repetitive, guys. You just you get you find your spots, you try to pick the best spots you can, and you just keep resetting. My bank's there, my trap's gonna be there. I got a straight wall right here, right there. So my trap will fit right down in there. That's kind of a blocker stick, a little bit. It's just very repetitive, very frustrating at times. Good spots that look killer or usually not for some reason. They can be uh, traveling a long ways and cause you all kinds of problems, but we're on to them now. Hopefully pick up one more before we leave today. I am assuming I'm running low on beaver because you know, every day we take them out of here. So it's, the more sets I add, the less odds of catching. So we're in, a, we're just about in, let's see if there's anyone left mode. Uh, we're not quite to that point. We know there's still some left, but we're getting there. Just right on the corner of your trap, you wanna be able to stick between the jaws. And there you go solid so I'm thinking even though we might have killed the last one right out here you can see it right we're gonna put that other guy right here as they're traveling back and forth we'll have one there and we'll have this guy right here deep here but I could fill a bank the bank is there to nothing and then there's the other side right there Sinking in the mud so bad here. I don't like that part of it. There's a stick here. I don't like either. Okay. Well, let's put it right here. Find a center of our run here.
just like we do the other traps through the eye or the between the springs and the jaw there find me another stick that's a good one Obviously watch where you're walking if you're messing around like I am. See if we can't get one of that. That'd be cool. See if one swims through here. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot. We lost our beaver. We lost our beaver, boys. Ah, oh, shit. Where you at, Frankie? There he is. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now the fun starts. Hey, where's my mink? Oh, he's at the mink's at the four wheeler. Maybe I'll go check down that way first before I go over there. Sure would be nice to have one more waiting somewhere. God dang it. I left my setters. <laughs> I hope they're still all visible. God dang it. Nothing. I got a place I want to put this. This is all froze up. We got something here. Got a beaver here. I'll have to come back for him. See what trap it is. Well, it's frozen in there, really. Surprised I got him. Trap didn't budge. That one where he pulled and pushed my colony trap. We got it in there solid. He wasn't going nowhere. There's our 20, and that is a brand new Duke. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back and get him out. Stay up there. Well, he don't want to stay. Well, I got a place for this, but there's number 20, guys. It's just on the other side from where I was that earlier the, the uh, beaver hood over there caught the mink over there and then I went down and checked all those and now I'm half dead so <laughs> number 20 we'll come back for it I'll drive the foiler around to there and get him I don't I just don't know if there's a beaver here or not and I know it looks like should easily be able to get a, a mink here but as you can see, it's not went 
Oh, there's so much debris in there. There's so much debris that probably interfere with it anyways. But I want to get this curve in there so that he has to go through that trap to get caught. Get underwater, you. Well, that's not gonna work. I can't get underwater. Well, it was a good theory. I technically just need another 110 here. Well, damn it. There's probably a, something up in there. Can't use it if it don't go underwater, so it's pointless. We got a lot of good sticks here. We found our spot right there. So I'll get my gloves on, I got my big old trap. Get it set and we'll drop it down in there and see if we can pick one up here. There's a lot of activity here, so. That's deep. That's deep out there and there's probably a run right under there. More than likely, but we do have one right here. I found it last time I was here. It's pretty wide, so this trap will work pretty good for it. Get that out of the way. There we go. Can't tell. That sucker is a big trap. Get it stabilized here real quick. There we go. Now we can put our whatever sticks we need in here. It seems excessive, huh? But this is a wide run here. <sighs> See, this one actually was set up and ready to go here. This carabiner right there. That's how they all should be. But they're not. You guys know that. took off my safeties. <laughs> that one's definitely off. That's a plus. definitely still on it. So, there's our traps. I need me a long stick. And I don't see one. This might do it. I'll bet you there's a run out there that I can't get to. I'm scared to go into it. Oh, we're getting deep. There's gotta be, no, nothing there. This is a big old circle here that they got open, so we're getting deep. Oh, there's gotta be right there. I can't get to it. 
Nope. No can do. I don't see any fresh. I, I suppose the beaver could be coming this way, but they've been pretty good about leaving open spots. So I don't think they're coming over here. Look at all the chew sticks. I think this is as far as they go. I think it gets really shallow here. Obviously, if it was open water, they'd probably travel and cut more stuff. But this is probably the end of our road for beaver. And with this being open like this, they can swim back and forth. I think we're, we're gonna pick up a couple of the last ones, I believe. beaver I'm gonna put this back in here there's a chance that it's gonna freeze up but we're gonna give her a shot there's no other option Let's see if there's any beaver left we're gonna put a herding on them now that's for sure we're getting thin we gotta be getting thin. Shows that they were using these thin, these really shallow runs. Well, somebody broke that since this beaver's been caught. Probably that freaking mink. There's probably another mink in here. <laughs> I hope I get him, another one. I haven't set any other run like this. This is clear down, or this far. So I don't even know, I mean, belly button at the at the height of it, and it just drops straight down hill here. So I gotta find a spot where that trap will fall in and fit in there. Geez, that's stuck there now. I thought these were gonna be what I needed. But I'm like I say, it's not very wide. Pushing it out of that or not? Oh, we're getting water in. Shit. This is no bueno, guys. <sighs> we're gonna see what happens there. I ain't got much faith in it. I ain't gonna do shit. Where's my... I'm filling up with water. All for a freaking beaver. Come on. I gotta bring a shovel. 
with me. It's always something. I had to bring a shovel and make these walls a little wider. It's not exactly what I wanted to do though. Where's our beginning rope at? Well, you guys saw my first attempt at using an H stand. Hopefully the second one's better. Because that was supposed to be easy. Whew. Oh God, that's this. It's been in my boat. Smells like catfish. Phew, I should call her. Well, I guess we're unrolling it the long way. Oh, look at there. We did it. Have to put this on here. It just shows you how deep that run is. I, I need a cable, but I was in a hurry, so. I'm glad I didn't put a cable on there because it would have been too short for sure. Oh, that took way longer than I expected, and I don't even know if I got it down all the way. I don't think I do, but maybe it'll catch. If not, I'm gonna have to shave some area out here. Get out of this hole. It is deep. I might as well check all these traps real quick. We got bubbles. Still set. That's not on the trail anymore. I can see the trail since it's refrozen and I'm not on it. <sighs> you motherfucker. Yeah, fuck him. Pissed me off. It's right there, but screw that trap. <sighs> Snapped right in my face. <sighs> you can still see bubbles, so they're still here. They're still here. Since I've been last year, anyways. Oh God, right here, there's a bubble trail going that way. It's about where I wanna be.
there's my it's gonna tell me there's something hard there and it's wide open on this side so the trap needs to go on this side I don't feel any twigs or anything that could interfere so Let me look at that again. How far down do I have before I'm in the... Huh? I should be able to go until my spring's at the bottom. Give or take. Probably right in there. Yeah, solid there. Now a piece of wood or a piece of rope and see what happens. I don't like not being able to fill my run and all that stuff, but... Should be all right. You know what? I might as well just put it on one side, huh? So I don't have to cut it. Very well, Beaver could have moved in right here from the looks of the bubbles. Oh yeah, he's in there. I see he broke through there. I should have a... <clears throat> Damn it. Well, that trap that I snapped, I'll bring over here. There's my rebar. I should have a foothold right here somewhere. He's been under the ice for a while. Well guys, I found a spot where there's bubbles. There's bubbles here. And I found one around the corner and I found one really good one down from yonder. So I'm gonna start here with, I got three traps. I just pulled them from over there. We're on pond number two. So what I'll do is I'll get this one set. That one's set because they're really active. They're close to the food bed. The only food pile they got, little one. And then I'm going to go to that farthest one because he's climbing out and actually chewing on stuff. So we got one here. We didn't find these runs before. Now that we've narrowed down the beaver, killed some, now you can see where the they're actually living now. They must be moving farther away from where I was killing because I haven't really went this way only once. So I just happened to find one over there and set. And I set that uh, bank den I've never set before. So we're moving. It's a good time to do it all at once. Just move everything and throw them off guard and we're gonna find out what happens. Well, I lost you for a minute there. Battery went dead, so I figured I better put another one in. They last, these GoPro 11 batteries last a lot longer. And I've had it on for quite a while, so it's to be expected that it went dead. All right, right here is a run coming out. Right in here is where I want the trap because it's his widest point. I'm trying to flatten the bank down some. Pretty happy to hit 20 beaver, guys. That's pretty exciting. Uh, definitely, I definitely knew there was a lot of beaver sign when I got here. But 20 beaver was not expected, really. Get this over here so I can put my, right in that hole. Right on the bottom there. 
piece of rebar through here. Every trap is different. They're not all set up the same, obviously. I've had some a long time. Get in there. Hit something. That's not good. There we go. Ah, shit. When it goes, it goes, I guess. Where's my trap? not doing anything I want it to do. I keep hitting something right there. There we got through it. Now we're supporting our conover. That one's set. Pretty confident that beaver goes back and forth because there was air bubbles. Could be a muskrat, I mean, using it now. I hope not, but it could be. This one is pretty good too. Fell right off it. A lot of chewings here. It's a pretty shallow run. We're gonna go out here where it's the widest. See it? How wide it is? There's there's a bank and there's a bank. What happened there? Piece of shit. I'm struggling now, guys. I've been here too long. Too much stuff going on here. I'm wore out. Just checking and walking through all the mud is enough, let alone looking for new spots. Trying to get keep our numbers up and it's not easy sometimes. Where in the hell is my wire? There it is. Okay, that one's solid. There's gotta be a stick here I can use. Maybe this one. See, there's... Well, I told you guys about them. sticks. When you find them, that's awesome. And then you come over here and there ain't none. Alright. Ain't going nowhere. Now we gotta get back out on the ice and go find that. Go look at that run. I, I didn't go in it. I could just tell it was a good one. So I'll see you over there if I can get there without falling through here. Ah, eee, crackly bobbly. See the beaver are breaking that open and eating. That's how I know there's still some here.
All right, guys, well, that's where the beaver's climbing out and chewing. And you see his weed, a uh, piece of uh, limb there he, he's getting. Well, over here's his run. It points that way for some reason. He must come out and somewhere and turn and go back that way. I didn't find a bank down there, but there could be one. I guarantee you there's one here though. Look at this. That's how you can find him. When 330's walking around and he's doing this stuff, and this is what he's looking for to see it's a lot thinner. That's what he's finding when he's out there doing his thing. He's hearing this hollow sound. That's because there's nothing there. Just really thin ice. Hard. But I was just stuck. <laughs> it's deep. Oh boy. This is going to be a spot for a. Another one of them 660s. They got a tree down here. And hopefully, it's, we can set a trap here. It's under a tree. Right on the side of this tree right here. <laughs> yeah, tree out of the way. We should have no problems putting the trap in here and waiting until he comes out. So how many beavers are here for real? <laughs> you know, you, you just start to think, well, we're not gonna get very many numbers anymore like we have been. And then one hour later, here I am. Setting three, four, five potential target spots that are better than all the other spots on this lake so Think too much is up. Well, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I am wore out. I got 
five 330s moved around on pond number two. I mean, it is, I'm clear up here. So basically there's the pond dam way down there. And usually I'm setting this side over here. And then found some beaver activity over here. Clear up here is where the fence is and then the other property. So this goes into a small stream at some point and then it turns into the dam. So it just give you an idea where I'm at. Apparently the beavers are up in here. Found one muskrat hole over here. I don't know how, I got so much footage, but I got three solid hours of footage, so it's gonna have to be broken down and I don't know what to do. I'll just show you the beaver being caught for sure. And then you can see how much I suffered trying to set the H stands for the first time. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm out here on the ice. It's not very hard, but it's holding me up, and um, I'm confident out here where it was solid. It was like 11 inches at one time out here, but next week, this will be so hard. I'll be able to walk anywhere I want. I'll probably even be able to drive a four-wheeler on here after the end of next week, so, all right. Well, guys, I, I've showed you everything I could show you, uh, all different varieties of traps. I haven't caught none in the snares yet, but we kind of should have started with some snares so that there was more beaver activity. This is kind of a at the end last year raw, but I bet there's at least five beavers down here in the, this lower part, at least. And we're gonna catch a few more up top. So we're someone mentioned 30 a while back, and it's not looking too far off, to be honest. And we still got that other pond whenever it I went over there and I didn't see anything new. No fresh sign. So I'd hate to believe that we killed everyone in that pond, but we we get some hard hard cold. I'll know I'll go over there and check it out. Cause there will be breaking through trying to find a way out. There's no food pile over there, so. Alright, I'm going to get off this ice and I appreciate you guys, all of the subscribers I've been getting. Right, we're on a roll to hit uh, 100,000, and we should be able to do it at this rate. Well, I see some tiny tracks here, probably mink, running right along there. <laughs> it's an endless smorgasbord out here in this little place. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.